Surprise! It's our birthday, baby! Yeah! 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 Cha! Yeah, baby! HQ, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, HQ. We're putting a candle on our cake today, people. One giant candle representing 365 days of daily live trivia. On August 26, 2017, HQ Trivia broke out of its beta cocoon and went live in the App Store for the first time. Just 390 players, not yet nicknamed HQDs, participated in that maiden voyage. The first question, what type of animal was Babe in the movie Babe? That'll do, Pig. That'll do. My look? Well, I wore a t-shirt with a suit jacket, much like this. More on this shirt later. And one person won the entire pot that day, which was $100. Shifty. Congrats, Shifty. It's fair to say things have shifted a little bit since that day. The HQ universe has expanded to tens of millions of HQDs around the world. We've given out millions of dollars, and the terms HQ Trivia and Quiz Daddy have become household names. Tonight, we celebrate the long, strange trip it's been with over half a million of you here tonight, live, right now, on HQ, the live mobile game show where you answer questions to win cash. I am your host with too many nicknames for one show, Quizmaster Flash, Quizmaster Flex, the Quizmaster General, Edward Quizzerhands, Walt Quizney, Quizzy McGuire, the Quizard of Oz with the great and powerful schnoz, Scott Rogowski, live from beautiful south of Houston Street in downtown New York City with 600,000 plus of you, many of you actually sharing your birthdays with HQ, like Jenny May. Janine's boyfriend, Joey, Amanda's friend, Dale, Jennifer's sister, Reagan, turning 25, and Eric Burden, father of our own Rob Burden, all with HQ birthdays. Now, our celebration is so big tonight. It's too big for one show. So we are playing three sets tonight, back to back to back AAU national champs with Tom Amansky. In the first of three games, I'll be asking eight questions, just eight in this game. And if you're still feeling great after eight, if you're still standing when all is asked and answered, You'll be walking away with a share of our $5,000 donuts, $5,000 didgeridoos, $5,000 prize. You can spend some of those winnings in our HQ merch store, which is open right now and only open for 24 hours. That's right. This time tomorrow, you'll be shut out. But right now, you can go check that out at the website right there. Maybe pick up some Primo duds like this piece, some HQ hats. Yes, HQ merch live official for the first time ever tonight. Now, whether you're a winner or not, you can buy the merchandise. And you can also play the game tonight. You're all invited to quiz with me and get some money. We in the kitchen, we quizzing like it's stir fry. It is time to get quizzed by the rose on the gray. I've got the time if you've got the inclination. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's get this first of three birthday shows on the road with Kumaro. Yeah. Which of these settings would you find on a washing machine? Spin cycle, news cycle, or cream cycle? Listen, if a washing machine is in the news, it's likely for reasons that have less to do with cleaning clothes and more to do with random explosions. Or because someone put a dog or child in there. Don't do that. Stick to the spin cycle. Washing machines, not the news cycle. 615,365 Many more than the first game this time last year, entering the no-spin zone at Q2. Pandas are famous for mainly eating what? Bamboo, beef, or blueberries? Panda. Panda? Panda, 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 panda. Pandas are known for a few things. Looking at dorps, having trouble breeding in captivity, maybe because those zookeepers are watching the whole time, and eating massive amounts of bamboo. In fact, the giant panda diet is about 99% bamboo. Good thing that plant grows fast. 605,578 are fast and furious, gnawing on Q3. The rest of you there, 5,000 about bamboozled early. Good thing there are two more games tonight. Q3, which of these film characters had a pet llama named Tina? Hans Gruber, Paul Blart, or Napoleon Dynamite? Llama to boot to boot. Between voting for Pedro and learning Rex Quando, Napoleon Dynamite took on the responsibility of feeding his llama Tina. Tina, you fat lard! Come get some dinner. Eat the food. Napoleon Dynamite is your answer. The food. Yeah. 
Yes. Good old Nappy D. 465,151 of you saying, heck yes. The rest of you saying, dang it. Stay home and eat all the freaking chips, Kip. But we are bowing to your sensei. I'm your sensei tonight. Q4. In the original Scooby-Doo cartoons, what character was voiced by legendary radio host Casey Kasem? Shaggy, Scooby, or Scrappy-Doo? He was played by Matthew Lillard in the creepy 2002 Scooby-Doo movie. But in the OG cartoon, tall, lanky, chill Shaggy was played by OG America Top 40 host Casey Kasem. Scooby! Like, wow! Too late! He's gone to that big boneyard in the Zoinks. sky! Shag! Scoop! I don't know, Scoop! I, I, I used to do a good Casey Kasem Shag. You can't do it anymore. 300,000! 377 of you! You deserve Scooby snacks tonight! The rest of you, 150,000. Well, you would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for those meddling kids. Q5. Which of these terms is common in honey production? Slum gum, gin jam, or jub jub? I am Casey Kasem. I don't know, Scoop. Oh, this white like, this is like uber hard. I can't do it. I had it. At one point in my life, I had it. We are past the halfway point tonight on this first game, guys. Remember... And also remember, after the beekeeper collects all that sweet, sweet honey-filled beeswax, there's residue left over. You and I would call it a disgusting mess, but apiarists refer to it as slum gum. Mmm, yummy, gummy, slum gum, 126,750 left after this one. Jub Jub is Selma's pet iguana. He's everywhere you want to be. 182,000 just got jammed. But we're making a beeline to Q6. The player depicted in the NBA logo played for the same franchise as who? Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, or Magic Johnson? NBA logo. How logo do you go? Jerry West had many nicknames over his 14-season Hall of Fame career. Mr. Clutch, Mr. Outside, Zeke from Cabin Creek, and the logo, because his silhouette is used in the NBA logo, he played for the L.A. Lakers back in the 60s and 70s, the same team that later became known as Showtime under... Irvin Magic Johnson. Do you believe in magic? 60,481 of you do. Coming up clutch here at Q6. Swishing and dishing, posting and toasting to Q7. What thin cotton fabric comes from a word that refers to food? Seersucker, muslin, or corduroy? Ooh, over 600,000 started the game. 60,000 plus are left. Don't forget, guys. There are two questions left, including this one, and two more games left tonight. So if you're out already, it's okay. You can watch this. This is fun. Come back for 8.30 and 9. Right now, we're at Q7 of our first game tonight. Seer, sucker, muslin, or corduroy. Those are your, your options. The word for this fabric took quite a journey. Seer, sucker is the answer. It's short from Persian, which was shir shekar, became Hindi word, sir sakar. It became Seer Sucker somehow. I don't know. It's kind of confusing. 21,626. You are not confused. You have come so far tonight. You have taken quite a journey down to the penultimate question. You made it this far. You have one more to go. The final round of this first quiz. Q8 tonight. It all boils down to this from the 21,626 still left standing for a $5,000 prize. Your eyes are on it. Well, the eyes have it. A Q8. Which of these popular 80s jeans brands attempted to advertise with an ill-fated blimp? Jordash, Levi's, or Bugle Boys? No savage questions so far tonight. Our next quiz will be all savage questions. And a reminder about that merch store. If you get this question right, you could spend that money right now in the merch store. Here's the story on this, guys. On October 8th, 1980, a 170-foot blimp crashed into some trees Shortly after takeoff on its maiden voyage, much like HQ's maiden voyage last August 26th, the location, Lakehurst Naval Station, Lakehurst, New Jersey. Is that familiar? It's the same site of the Hindenburg disaster 43 years earlier. Oh, the HQ Manatee. Maybe the execs at Jordash should have done their homework on that one. It was a blimp advertising Jordash jeans, and 12,480 of you are our winners tonight. Bye-bye! You've got the look, HQ.
skew's looking good on you, all 12,480, which is a lot of people splitting $5,000, which means you're all taking home a whopping, whopping 40 cents. A nice even 40, 40 centavos. Congratulations, guys. I think we're all a bit richer for having played tonight. Perhaps not financially, but, you know, spiritually, intellectually. You learned something. You won something. All 12,480, including Jeff the Great, Twits, Camerino, Amanda, some Benjamin, so many more. Guys, stay close. Stay very close. I'll be back at this again in about 15 minutes, 8.30 p.m. with a, a new quiz, 12 questions, $10,000 prize. That's right. We're doubling it up in the ante, and it's going to keep getting higher. That 9 o'clock show, 15 questions, $15,000. So study up, okay? Make a sandwich, have something to eat, sustain yourself, electrolytes, until 15 minutes from now. I'm Scott Rogowski signing off, making a birthday wish. Now, I don't have to make a wish because I already have this wonderful HQ family. I wish for Infinity Hamburgers.